Hi everybody, it's Igor and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your uh, computer if you have a problem. So let me show you what's going on with my computer right now. So I have my computer here, HP ProBook 6455B. And uh, the problem was that uh, oh, I was turning the computer on one time, turned on, and I waited a few seconds, you know, past the BIOS boot settings, and then it says non-system disk or disk error. Replace and strike any key when ready. So I thought, okay, what's going on? So I took out my hard drive, put it back in, and still the same problem. So I took apart the whole computer, and actually I found out that what happened was the um, part that hooks up my motherboard to my hard drive exploded. And I'm thinking, great, because I won't be able to ever put in a hard drive into my computer. Well, there's a way to fix this. You can get a removable hard drive just like this and put it onto the back or anywhere else that you want to. You can use a USB. I highly recommend this because it's very fast, 7200 RPM, just like your regular hard drive. And um, what you want to do is just make sure it's free and um, yeah, make sure that's ready to go. Now I'll show you what to do on the computer to install this. So what we're going to do is open up our web browser and we're going to go to the website linuxliveusb.com. Again, Lima, India, November, uniform, x-ray, Lima, India, um, V, uh, I forgot what that was, uh, x-ray, Victor, duh, echo, uh, uniform Sierra Bravo dot com that Charlie Oscar Mike and uh, Linux live USB dot com, com, com and go ahead and click on enter now you're here you want to click on download and click on download Lily now it's gonna prompt you with this thing click on save file after you save the file, just go through the installation and you will have it something that looks like this. If you can't find it, just click on start and Lily, type in Lily USB Creator. So now Linux Live USB Creator pops up. Now, what you want to do is insert either a, um, a disk drive or a, um, a USB drive. So I have my disk drive right here, and this is 700 megabytes though. What you want to do is actually use something that's greater than two gigabytes or more. I recommend, highly recommend 4.7 gigabytes, that's very typical, or just to use a regular USB uh, flash drive. And yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the internet and we're going to go to a website called manjaro.com. Mike Alpha, oh, I'm sorry, dot org. Mike Alpha November Juliet Alpha Romeo Oscar. M A N J A R O dot org. Now you want to click on Get Manjaro and just click on that. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Manjaro XFCE Edition. You want to see what kind of computer your uh, computer is, uh, if it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Almost every processor is ca capable of supporting 32 or 64-bit, but um, you need to know what it is, otherwise it might not work, and it probably won't work. So. What I'm going to do is click on 64-bit, since I know my laptop is 64-bit. Um, the way you can uh, see if it's 32 or 64-bit, if it is running, is to go to Start and System, I mean Control Panel, System and Security, System, and it will tell you um, where. I forgot. There, okay, I'm sorry. I say system type, and this says 32. So if you want to install it on a computer that already does work, 
if it's such as this, 32. If you have two gigabytes of RAM or less, that's a good indicator, it's probably going to be 32-bit, unless it's a laptop. If it's a regular desktop and it is two gigabytes or less, it is most definitely going to be 32-bit. The way you can see what your RAM is, is to take the computer, open up your computer, open up the RAM and see what it is. If it says 512 megabytes, 256 megabytes, or anything like that, or one, even 128, and you only have two, possibly even four, then, um, yeah, it's going to be 32-bit. So, I'm, for my laptop, is 64-bit, I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me to source forge.net and my installation will start. Click on save file and click on OK. After this installation is over, what you want to do is um, open up my computer, click on your name, your username, downloads and make sure it's there. Should be Manjaro XFCE 0871 or any 7273, all the different latest versions. Now, you, what you want to do is choose your key by opening up Linux Live USB Creator and choose your USB key. I'm going to use this one because I know that's my USB key. That's under a USB key. If it's a disk, it's going to say disk. If it's a hard drive, it's going to say hard drive. Um, I'm going to select that. should get a green light. Next, choose the source, ISO. And it's going to take you, I don't know if it'll take you to downloads or not, but go over to down, little downloads section. See users, your name, your username, and then downloads. Then click on Manjaro XFCE. Green light, green light, green light. Next, format the key in FAT32 or FAT32. Hide creative files on key if you want to do that, or you can uncheck it. I did that. That's why if you go to my um, drive and you open it, there's nothing there. But if I click on properties, it tells me I have 1.22 gigabytes used. So you can see 1.22 gigabytes, the ISO. So yeah, now I just click on the lightning icon. After that's done, uh, I'm going to pause my video and um, yeah. So I, um, I got a success thing and you should have a tab come up on your web browser like this saying that it was um, it worked um, so whatever you do is make sure you don't um, unplug your media before you um, or during while that's going on if you did you broke your media and there's one way to fix it if this doesn't work and I'm sorry but it's not gonna work by the way in this video I'm not liable for anything that you do click on start System, uh, excuse me, control panel, system and security. This is if you broke it or you ejected it. Click on administrator, computer administrator, allow, Datenspeicher, and then click on the snap and it's going to open up this. Now, um, you have all these different things, and it's quite actually it's quite easy. If it's a DVD, it's going to tell you it's a DVD right here. If it is a um, USB, I'm going to look for it and find it. There it is, because my USB is 16 gigabytes. That's the closest to 16. I know my USB is not 290 or 7.81. It will be a FAT32 since you selected that. Hopefully, you did. Now, if it's not working, what you're going to want to do is click on this and press delete press the delete button on your keyboard if it prompts you for anything click on ok after that you want to um, you want to click on it click on make a new uh, portion click next I'll specify the um, letter for it whichever you want the letter of the drive to be click on next after that, have a reformat. You're going. They're going to have two uh, click on buttons. One at the top and one in the middle. Click on the one in the middle. Click on um, what you want it to be named. What type you want it to be. Type in the name. Then click uh, fast format. Click on next and wait. Do not eject it again. Otherwise, it'll be broken forever. 
after that, you know, just uh, take it uh, after the thing is complete, just uh, take it out and then plug it back in. It will say complete, so don't do anything. <laughs> and um, yeah, now what we're going to do is um, open this thing up, make sure it works, which it does, and now comes the fun part. Hello, so um, now I'm gonna take out my USB drive, just like that, here it is. I'm gonna plug it into where I want it to be. I can plug it in here. And after that, I can plug in my, uh, plug in your movable drive now, or your disc, whichever one. You wanna click on power button, and you wanna keep clicking on whichever button to access your BIOS. In my case, I'll be F10. And I wanna plug in your mouse. My mouse is also broken. I accidentally managed to break it while taking my computer apart. Click on system configuration, boot options, and UEFI boot mode. When uh, that comes up, click on accept. Next, you if it's a CD-ROM, press CD-ROM boot. Uh, and then also make sure USB device boot is enabled, otherwise it won't work. Next, click on save. Changes, yes. Next, go to File, Save Changes, and Exit. Yes. Now it's going to boot up, just like this, and click on Boot Manjaro Linux times 8664 UEFI USB default from Minor Linux Live, or the times 8664 might be different. Might be times 8632. It's a 32-bit system, and now I'm going to pause the video until it boots up. This is typical if you see all this stuff. That's regular Linux boot up. So here it is, and it just booted up. You're going to get a welcome screen. Do not close it. It's going to say install Manjaro. So I'm going to click on install. Now um, it will take probably a few seconds to open up. And there it goes. And just click on your language. Mine is English. Click on forward, select time zone, I'm going to select my time zone, click on forward. Next, uh, just make sure whichever keyboard layout you want, I have English, forward, type in my name, Igor. Oh, you're not going to be able to see my password, I'm sorry, but that is not going to be covered in this tutorial. Hostname Igor. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. Next, I want to select where it wants to be booted from. I know my hard drive is SDBB. SDB, excuse me. If you don't know, just click on any one and it will open up. SDB1. Okay. So you want to click on Edit Partions. Now it's um, going to be quite simple. You were going to select your device. Up here, SDA is going to be my USB, SDB is the other one. So now you want to run and install it off STB or vice versa, whatever it says. So now you're going to delete the different partitions. Every single partition you have, just click on right click and press delete. And now what you want to do is click on new, extension 4, label, I'll label it um, Manjaro add and now you want to assign a home directory if you um, if you want to do that I don't I'll leave it like this I'm gonna click on edit and apply all operations click on apply now I'm gonna pause the video. okay make this quick click on close click on close press refresh now I have this operating system and assign to backslash. Forward, install grub on STB. Forward, and install. And that's it. So after this install is finished, leave it alone for now. It will take uh, some time. And after it is finished, um, just reboot your computer. Well, turn off your computer. Take out the USB or um, CD drive 
and boot it back up. And there you go. There you have Manjaro Linux.